Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 27. This video we're going to be taking a look at working with a 4D axis scaling within our Mtune software. Our 4D scaling option allows us to add a fourth dimension onto any table within our Max ECU. So if we're dealing with something like lambda control and taking a look at our target lambda table, we know when the engine's warm, we want to have a leaner mixture, or leaner target lambda. When the engine's cold, we want to have a little bit richer target lambda. Now we can't do that within the standardized table in a three-dimensional format that Max provides to us. Within a 4D axis, we can actually have multiple tables now set on different coolant temperatures versus different lambda targets. So it's gonna add a lot of practicality in our tuning strategy and open up a lot of possibilities. I'm gonna walk you through a couple different examples of how to integrate your 4D axes, but the possibilities are really endless within the software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check out how this is going to work. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our 4D table axes correction within our Max ECU. Our fourth dimensional tables that we can add on for the axes we can add on to almost any table is going to give us another layer of tuning that maybe just our main fuel table main spark timing table or something like our coil dwell table can't already account for let's jump in and take a look how we can implement this and why we might want to implement this so i'm going to go through a couple examples here let's first open up our major tables that we want to integrate using a 40 axes option i'm going to go down here under our navigation window here on the side and move down here under tuning now under tuning, we're gonna find we have fuel table, lambda table, ignition angle table. These are the three main tables we have to deal with for fuel and spark timing. Now taking a look and starting off this video, I wanna talk about our lambda table. We know that our lambda table is going to be having a target lambda mount within the table. This table is a three-dimensional table, meaning we have an axis based on map pressure here on the side. That's our load input. And then we have engine RPM down here at the bottom. Depending on where we're operating at, what our boost level is going to be at, what our engine speed is going to be at, it's going to look at appropriate target air fuel that we have programmed within the table. So as our load goes up here, we're going to be decreasing our lambda, our target lambda, which is going to then influence our fuel calculations. And if we have our closed loop fuel correction on, it'll also be a target for that closed loop correction. We know that we have both a short term and a long term type of correction. We can see down here lambda correction A, and then our long term, these are gonna be following what our lambda target is going to be at. Now, this particular table here doesn't take into account our engine coolant temperature. If we're turning on our lambda correction on a cold engine, we don't want it to target something like 1.0 lambda here in vacuum. That's going to be too lean, that's stoichiometric. We wanna go in and probably target something like 0.85, 0.9 lambda when the engine is warming up. We have a wall winding effect, we've talked about this in several other videos, where the fuel isn't gonna atomize very well when the engine is warming up or coming up to operating temperature. We generally wanna run our mixture a little bit richer than we would when we have a warm engine. So in this case, looking at this table, we have no way to change our target lambda based on our coolant temperature, based on our engine warming up. These values that we're placing in here are gonna be the values that we wanna work with when we add the engine up to operating temperature. So what we can do here is implement a fourth dimension axis and actually have multiple tables within our three-dimensional format here that are gonna allow us to offset our target lambda when we're going in and we're firing up the engine cold and then we wanna operate it warm. Let me demonstrate this really quick. What I'll do here in this table, just to keep it simple right now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna grab all my values here from zero PSI, that's our atmospheric pressure, all the way down here to a negative 11.8 PSI. That's our full engine vacuum. Let me change this to 1.0 lambda. And then we can find here in boost, we're getting up to 78 lambda, that's fine. I'm gonna do an interpolation here between these values. Let's do right click, let's go here to vertically interpolate, just so we can clean up the table a little bit. So if we take a look right now, we're gonna find that my engine coolant temperature is 144 degrees, and we can see the target lambda here is 1.0. Now, if my coolant temperature is going to be much lower than that, Let's say my coolant temperature here is going to be something like 60 degrees. Bring that down here, something like 60 degrees. We would not want to target, again, that 1.0 lambda. We want to target something like 0 0.9, 0 0.85 lambda. Now, that's where the, the fourth dimension axes or fourth dimensional table programming here is going to come into play and why we want to use it. What we can do here is jump into the table. We can actually right click on any of the axes and go here to 4D axes. It's going to add on a 4D axis. Let's click this right now. We can see this pops up here on the side. And we're gonna find here, when we're clicked on these two different options, we can toggle on one or two here. This is going to be 
for the initial axis configuration trying to base itself on ethanol correction. We don't, or concentration, I'm sorry. We don't want to go in and actually use ethanol concentration or flex fuel type of tuning right now. We want to base this on engine coolant temperature. Let me go and change my axes first, and then we'll talk about how we can scale this a little bit differently here. So what I'm going to do is right click here, and I'm going to go to change axis source, and we can simply go in here to engine control and jump down here to coolant temperature. That is now going to be changing my ethanol concentration percent or the flex fuel percentage that we have, the actual ethanol amount and the fuel system over to engine coolant temperature. Let's click OK. Now we need to configure these axes so this is going to make sense. What I'm going to say is the lowest axis is going to be 32 and then the highest axis in Fahrenheit, let's just say something like 150, 160. That's where the engine is going to be approximately up to operating temperature or near operating temperature. Let's click OK here. Now what we're left with on our axes is a 32 degrees and 150 degrees. Now, when I click- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.